There is more news tonight for the Detroit Police Department. An officer has been sentenced to probation for assaulting a shopper while he worked off duty security at a Detroit Meyer. Uh, this happened in October of last year, clearly recorded by shoppers at the store, as you may recall. Jason Colthorpe here now with the news that he's not going to jail. The yeah, officer. and you're a lot of people surprised by this, considering Exhibit A was what you just saw, and uh, that's what has a lot of people outraged today. The Detroit police officer swinging this nightstick here will not do any jail time for it. After pleading no contest in February, Lonnie Wade was sentenced today to three years probation. He had been charged with assault with intent to do great bodily harm and felonious assault and facing a total of 14 years in prison. The 65 year old DPD officer was working his second job as security at the Meyer on 8 Mile October 10th when he asked David Bivens to see his receipt. After his girlfriend produced it, prosecutors say he tried to arrest Bivens for disorderly conduct, but there was no evidence of Bivens fighting back on the tape. When he resisted the arrest, Wade hit him repeatedly with his baton, doing serious damage to his head and teeth. Eight days later, Jeffrey Figer filed a $25 million lawsuit against Meyer on behalf of Bivens. Kenneth Reed of the Coalition Against Police Brutality says today's sentence isn't nearly good enough. We got to stop with this slapping on the wrist when people are out here being harmed, being maimed and, and killed by law enforcement personnel. What's, what's going on, what's going on with, with, with the prosecutor's office? What's going on with the judges that think that this would be a prudent thing to do to let this guy walk away with three, with three years probation? Yeah, we're saying that a message needs to be sent to rogue police officers, and this isn't a good one. Wade also has to do 80 hours of community service and is banned from working as a security guard. Neither Bivens, his girlfriend, nor Figer's office returned calls for comment today about this story. An interesting wrinkle here concerning his status on the force. Yeah, we were wondering, as he go back to active status? And it turns out he had already retired. Reed mentioned this. He said, it's time for this guy to retire. We don't need people out there. I said, well, as it turns out, he put his papers in in January. <laughs> so yeah. he's gone. Yeah. yeah. All right. All right, Jason.